Hello, welcome back to our channel, Market Forecast and Investment. So this weekend has been very good, and our index just broke the level six thousand six hundred. So in this elite wave, I'll go directly with the analysis. So as you can see, index is in an impulsive wave three and it will be topping and hitting this resistance trend line of this ending diagonal wave C of wave 2 so if if we say wave C this is what we mean with wave C this whole corrective and in ending diagonal and wave C of 2 that is the part only of the major corrective wave too. So this whole entire uh, drop here is part of the wave two, and the index is heading towards the next impulsive wave three. So next few few weeks, we we might be seeing the index correcting and revisiting this zone here for the anticipation of a corrective wave 4 so wave 4 usually will take a um, corrective triangle before heading and resumption of the trend so this will be our anticipation if we follow correct Elliott wave theory so we will see with actual market data for we have only remaining 5 weeks to finish this year so early next year will be a really very good resumption of trend for the for our impulsive wave 3 so let's try to check one of the top traded stock for the past months ABBA so my internet right now is not so good Please bear with me for a moment. So I'll give you some snaps of, of my, you know, trading and earning or investing is not a an easy task, and learning to master this 3D system is the hardest one, since as you can see, all of the stocks are in a folder with updates on the charts so let's check on ABBA so ABBA is for quite some time I'm tracking those movements starting from let's try and check this the first time I tracked this one so ABBA was still on an uptrend and we are anticipating here so on and on we update I an update the, the counts and then label them based on my understanding of the wave theory so here we expect some corrective wave for around 2 pesos per share and then we integrated Komo Ichimoku Cloud as sort of the trending determinant of the strength of the trend. As you can see, it made a bounce on the cloud, and we are expect expecting some price confluence on this Fibonacci levels, which have not yet actualized. And this time, was, I think three to two weeks ago. So, enough of this, let's go back to our actual map. So this is the actual chart of Abacus, Abacor, sorry. and it made a drop and violated our wave 1. So it violated one of the Elliott wave rules, so instead of making this as a wave 1, so right now it will become a wave A so this whole 
bullish run here is only the completion of the wave C and later on it will be back to its normal trend which is down or it might be heading down to the base levels so the, the, the bounce from here from this last the 1.68 might be touching the 2.32 or the 0.382 Feb so those have, who have entered late or at the top might see a little, ba, a little bit uh, reduce the risk on this price is 2.32 and 2.47 and by then if we can see rejections so um, unfortunately the price may head to an imposing bearish run at the bottom 0.89 per share so I'll keep on sharing some charts guys and all of them are a byproduct of what I have learned of everything theory and hope soon um, many of us can comprehend about these charts and analyze in a very um, different manner objectively so have a nice weekend and God bless.